back to my forensic studio. This is part of my filtering programs. Anyways, a lot of people want to know what this program is. I keep my word to the guy who gave it to me. Let's go to magnification 8. Let's go to contrast by channel, which will bring out the different layers. And as you can see this picture right here, we got clouds. It's like afternoon. This was somebody on Facebook. I showed it a while back, but I want to show you what is really going on. Look at the colors on this thing. Now look at the arrow up here. See the arrow, the white arrow? That's the edge I'm looking at, but look at the purple it's bringing out. Now why is it bringing that purple out? Because it's real, it's there. You just don't see it with the naked eye, with the picture. It doesn't add purple, it just shows you some of the features going on. Like up in these clouds, there's a lot of stuff going on you don't see. Now follow the arrow up there. See I'm in the blue? Look at all that stuff going on. So the sky is a full of stuff. That's like a lot of stuff. Here's a regular contrast. The planet's really projecting a green. You know, we've been seeing those greens, and I'm going to show you uh, Mave 777. He tracks his barcode in the sky. Um, I'll show you that in a minute on here. So the, the thing I want to show you is this level sweep. Um, this thing deals with the light real heavily. So I got it set. And. Notice the clouds are in front of, or the back of the planet. So is it a planet? You see that? The clouds are in the back of that planet. Let me see. Get the right magnifier. Smallest magnification right now. You see the green, either these are green, reflections from the green white moon that's in front of the cloud, which I don't think is a cloud. Okay, so to do the sweep thing, right back in the daytime, like the original picture, right? See, what I'm doing is just manipulating the uh, lighting and seeing what it is. These are the true colors that are on this, this planet, this orb, this UFO. This, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty wild. It's definitely green. That's the opacity. I'll bring the opacity up. And you start really getting the outline of this thing. And it's definitely a, I personally think it's a lens flying around with a green hue that throws into the sky. Now let me show you some screen, screaming green skies. I'll show you Mave, but right up here, check this out, this cloud. Ooh, what's there? I really don't know. But as I bring down the light, you definitely can see the stripes right over the planet. Look at that. So do you think it's a planet? Or do you think it's a UFO over top of that cloud? That is the question. Now, see, some of this stuff, you can't explain it. It ain't all light lens flares, light flares. Get over yourself. I'm telling you, this is objects, this is things happening in the sky that's unexplainable, paranormal, phenomenal. It's a phenomenon in the sky. It's astounding. How can you say you don't see that? You know, I know the people taking these pictures, they're not lying to me. I don't even know how to use email. Some of them can't even use an email to attach a picture. Come on, give them a break. But look at this stuff. This is from the uh, tool. It just pulls it out, right? So, enough of this thing. It's too crazy. So, I think that's where you're... Oh, uh... well, let's go to one more thing here. Illuminate. Oh, and we could pick up if there's any UFOs floating around. Even though you don't see them. Very cool tool. Nope, any picking, no UFOs up. So the next one I'm going to go down is a luminous. Now you'll see if it's a natural option. Think, what do you think? It's the clouds, see how the cloud colors cutting into it? The light source. See that light source of the green? 
Uh, of course it's pink, but in the real picture it's green. See, it's an actual object by the granite, uh, the luminous granite. It actually brings it out like a top of a map. Right? I actually this all the time. His opacity brings it back into the original. See, the, the, the clouds are a light source. What looks like stripes is a light source. Watch. See, it cuts into it. That purple indicates a light source. Something green is shining on this thing. It looks like. Unreal. Let's go to another color. A little bit different intensity. I intensified it. Here we go again. A little different. Now you can see how the clouds not so. See how that light source is inverted? Usually the light source is inverted. It's purple and green like it's showing here. Um, this up here is a cloud. And you can see the light bouncing off the cloud. Just want to show you so you can pick out the cloud, but it's really picking out the planet. Or the orb, or the UFO, or whatever you want to call it. This is another level of it. Green. I didn't put the green on because it already has its own green. See the green. Now let's go back to level sweep. So this is a green light source glowing on it. Now could it be from the UFO? Yeah, of course. Alright, enough of that. I'll talk to you in the next video. Oh yeah, one more thing, one more thing. Check out Mave777 YouTube channel. Some good stuff there. Okay, people, look at this thing that Mave caught. It's like, so that's a barcode. It's in the sky. Um, notice that it's behind the power lines. And uh, it's got a green hinge. I did a color correction on it, so the green got actually more green, more intense. Which is the true color that it is. So, can't make this stuff up. Subscribe, like, share. Mave. 777 YouTube check him out I think he's also on Facebook the thing's incredible Now on this next set I'm showing you, they look just like clouds, but I want you to look. And I did filtering in a way where it changes, but it's the same, but stuff pops out. So comment on what you see, it's like find a picture, okay? And I forgot to grab the name of the person who had this up on Facebook, so if you see it, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, forgive me. You can put something in the comment. You know, my bad. Alright guys, check this out up here. See the big ship on the bottom of that cloud? Unreal.
So behind this, what I really think is some type of a huge planet. That's the snail base at the bottom of it. And you can see, I've seen two or three of these this week. There's a lot of activity around them. They're just kind of wow vision. Okay, notice how um, dark it is outside. Also, notice the moon turns red. It's like 1.32 o'clock in Israel, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the end of the video. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lower that light right there. It's just, it's just like lens flares right there in front of you, but those are street lights. But look how dark it is, and it's 1,552 hours. Let me show you the moon phase. It says it's supposed to be one o'clock in the afternoon. It starts out, but notice how fast it goes. I'll get the moon phase and show you.
Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this thing up. But I thought it was interesting. It was a bloody red moon. Uh, the street lights are not making it red. No, 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 no. This is a phenomenon. This guy. A little paranormal too. Might be very spiritual. You tell me. You guys know a lot of stuff out there. Keep watching. Subscribe today. And I say to you again that this is a new era. This is the year of 2021 WON and I am releasing my hand my agenda that shall bring victory in this decade that has started off harsh therefore do not look at the events and the things that have taken place and be gripped with fear for I spoke to my servants Joshua Moses others and I declared unto them fear not so this is what I speak to those, even of this day, who are gripped with fear, that have allowed the enemy to take and steal your hope and your faith. Watch very closely, for the things that are about to happen upon your nation is why I set the prophets. I have declared in the lips of the intercessors that this is a time over this nation of overthrowing, destroying, rooting out, tearing down structures, things that the enemy has taxed this nation and held it in a place of bondage and all he desires in his mouth to taste a victory that will not be given him. Therefore I say to you at this time, did I not say to the same prophet that was set over the nation to tear down and to speak to things in the spirit realm and in the natural that there would come a time of building and planting but the reform that you are seeing now must take place it's part of the restructuring the reforming the tearing down the moving away of the things that have been upon you so that I may bring the new new places new faces and yes it shall arise even in my church for those who have stood with me those who have not cowered those who have not given in to the lies and to the fear that is being perpetrated now they shall stand as my voices says the Spirit of God and even those in government who are standing with me and for my truth to march on they shall be elevated but pay attention to the young faces that shall arise for I am going to cause a generation of those in political offices who have been a stench in this nation and they have come Compromise. They shall be removed and new faces shall take their place as a new party shall arise. Why, says the Lord? Because a righteous rebellion is upon the land of those that this nation was formed upon with the patriot spirit. But there shall be those in my church, a remnant, that shall come together and they shall say, surely this land shall be the land of God, the Lord God, Jehovah, and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. And watch how my spirit moves in a way that is so unusual in the days to come. For where there has been a spirit of fear, I will bring power, 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 says the Spirit of God, and it will touch your government. And I will release love, for you will see that it was my goodness and my love and my mercy that rescued you, saved you at this time that you're about to see in the next few weeks. And you will see that I have restored a sound mind that fear does not dominate what I shall do in this time, but my truth instead.